Welcome. I'm Dr. Jerry Nolan and this is Love is the Answer. Today we are going to discuss one of the blessings that students report experiencing and learning from loving teachers. Growing in goodness. We teach far more through our example than through our words. Perhaps the most important lesson that we teach is what it means, what it looks like to live goodness, to live a virtuous life. And we do this largely right out in front while we're doing our job. We have a very unique uh, job in, as teachers in that most of what we do is in front of an audience of students. And how we live before them is really important. American Lebanese poet Khalil Gibran once wrote, Work is love made visible. When we do our work with love, with virtue, with goodness, our students see that and will imitate that in their lives as they go on. It is one of the most important lessons that we teach. Goodness, virtue. I'm going to go over four of what are widely accepted as the main reasons people lose their jobs. And I'm using these because they have everything to do with goodness and virtue and nothing to do with SAT scores, reading or math scores. The first is the inability to get along with others, bullying, harassing, or just can't work in a team. When you think back to school, you know, preschool, kindergarten, that's like the earliest lesson. Can you play with others in the sandbox? And then as we go on, can you cooperate on an, uh, an academic team or an athletic team? Uh, can you work as a team member in a band or a choir? We teach those lessons all the time and they're so important. And we live them out before, for, before them as well. In that, if the adults have their act together, students are pretty much going to have their act together. And if there is conflict among the adults, they know. It might all happen behind closed doors if there is conflict, but believe me, the kids know and it matters. Second reason, dishonesty. Typically lying to a boss or a client in the work setting. But we teach honesty all the time, you know. Don't copy somebody else's paper. Don't cheat on a test. You know, don't plagiarize, all those kinds of things. And we don't measure those outcomes necessarily, uh, but they're so important for a student the rest of their lives in maintaining a job. Poor attendance. I really don't have to say much more than that. Um, when students aren't at school, we can't teach them. It's probably one of our, our biggest concerns, just having kids there. If they're there, they can learn. If people show up to work, they can work. And, you know, people lose jobs because they're continually late or they call in sick all the time, whatever. And so when we are doing that with students, really emphasizing attendance, that has a long-term impact. Back when I went to school in the late 1800s in Wyoming, Wisconsin, our school counselor used to tell us, when employers call and ask about you, they never ask about their grades. They ask about one thing, your attendance record. And if you don't have a good one, you're not going to get hired. Lastly, simply not doing your job. Laziness. That you find other things to do, uh, you, you aren't interested, you don't have initiative, and so forth. And we, we try to, especially as students get older, have them take more initiative in their learning, which is a great thing. And it's part of growing in virtue and goodness. Again, those are the four reasons. Notice, reading score, math score, ACT test, never comes up. Modeling and teaching students what it means to be a good person, to be a virtuous person, has a lifelong impact on them. Associate Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas once wrote, Good manners will open doors 
that the best education cannot. And that is just so true. I go back to my own, my own hiring practices. You know, you had a team of people and you're hiring new teachers and so forth. And I always came back to, is this a good person? We can train the skills, we can train the knowledge. Is this a good person? Do they have virtue? And if they did, that was the only thing that really mattered to me. I thought everything else would take care of itself. So, modeling virtue, something kids want, something kids need. We hope you enjoyed this segment. Please read our companion blog at drjerrynolan.com. Watch our other videos on our YouTube channel, Love is the Answer. Like us on Facebook, and as always, on behalf of me and my entire family, we wish you an abundance of peace and love.